Understanding the phrase, give it some thought. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a commonly used English phrase, give it some thought. Whether you're a beginner or advanced learner, understanding these phrases can greatly improve your fluency and comprehension. So, let's get started. Give it some thought means to think carefully about something before making a decision. It's a polite way to suggest that someone should consider all aspects of a situation or decision more deeply. This phrase is often used in both personal and professional contexts. To better understand how to use, give it some thought, let's look at some examples. In decision making, I'm not sure if I should move to a new city for work. What do you think? Well, it's a big decision. Give it some thought before you decide. Offering advice. I'm thinking about starting my own business. That's a big step. Give it some thought and research the market carefully. In conversations, when someone presents you with an idea or a plan, and you want more time to consider it, you might say, let me give it some thought and I'll get back to you. The context in which, give it some thought, is used can affect its meaning. In a casual setting, it might simply mean to think about something for a short time. In more serious or professional situations, it can suggest a need for thorough consideration and reflection. There are several variations of the phrase that carry a similar meaning. Think it over, mull it over, ponder it. These variations can be used interchangeably, depending on the context and your personal preference. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of give it some thought. Remember, understanding these common phrases can greatly enhance your English communication skills. So, give it some thought and try to use it in your next conversation. See you in the next video.